good morning today we will discuss the gauss backward interpolation method in newton's backward interpolation method the given x value end of the tabular column at the time we can use the newton's backward interpolation formula in gauss backward interpolation method p value p equal to x minus x not divided by h the p value between minus 1 minus 1 to 0 the p value between minus 1 to 0 at the time we can use the gauss backward interpolation formula gauss backward interpolation formula interpolate by means of gauss backward formula the sales of a concern for the year 1966 given the years in x 1931 1941 1951 1962 1963 1964 1965 the corresponding y value sales in lakhs of rupees 12 lakhs 15 lakhs 20 lakhs 27 lakhs 39 lakhs and 52 lakhs now to find in the year of 1966 what will be the sales by using gauss backward interpolation method here the question itself given to use the gauss backward interpolation formula here the formula p equal x minus x not divided by h here x value 1966 1966 Minus the 1966 is very near to 1971. 1971. So we can take x not value 1971 divided by h. H means intervals of between two x values. Okay. Now the difference is 10. Difference is 10. So 166 minus 1971. We can subtract these two and at the result divided by 10, we can get result point 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 minus point five. The p value minus one to zero. The p value between minus one to zero. Here we can get the p value minus five. So we can use the Gauss backward interpolation. method now the formula for gauss backward gauss backward interpolation formula y of p y of t equals y not plus p into delta y minus 1 Plus p plus one and p divided by two factorial delta square y minus one plus p plus one p p minus one divided by three factorial delta q y minus two plus P plus two, P plus one, P, P minus one divided by four factorial delta power four y minus two plus we can extend the formula up to the difference table required. First we have to start with y not plus P delta y minus one. Yeah. There are two 
y minus 1 delta y minus 1 and delta square y minus 2 and delta cube y minus 2 and delta power 4 y minus 2 same thing delta power 5 and delta power 6 we can use y minus 3 ok now the formula first we have to start with the p next we can add p plus 1 next we can add p minus 1 and the next we can add p plus 2 there are two terms divided by 2 factorial 1 2 3 there are 3 p value divided by 3 factorial 1 2 3 4 there are 4 p value so divided by 4 factorial ok here required y naught value and delta y minus 1 and delta square y minus 1 delta cube y minus 2 delta power 4 y minus 2 ok first we have to find out the difference table of given x and y value difference table x 90 31 1941, 1961, 1961, 1961, 1961, 1961, 1961, P equal to x minus x naught divided by h. Okay. Here x value x value 9 um, question given x value 1966. 1966. This is for x 1966 minus x naught value nearer to 1966 so we can take this is for x naught 1971 divided by h value intervals are between two x difference is 10 so we can get the p value minus 0.5 p value minus 0.5 now here to find out what is the corresponding p value here yeah, that 1971 x value is absolute 1971 minus x naught value 1971 divided by h intervals 10 0 divided by 10 equal to 0 so we can solve this is for 0 next x value is absolute 1961 p equal to 1961 minus 1971 divided by 10 now divide these two we can get the result minus 10 divided by 10 equal to minus 1 ok now this is for minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 and this is for plus 1 p equal to x value 1981 x naught value 1971 divided by 10 we can get the result 10 divided by 10 equal to 1 plus 1. Ok, now difference table delta y. Delta y means the difference between these two 15 minus 12. Now result 3 and 20 minus 5. Now result is 5. 27 minus 20. Now result 7. And 39 minus 12. Uh, sorry, 27. Now result 12. And 52 minus 39 result 13 and delta square y difference between these two 5 minus 3 2 and difference between these two 7 minus 5 difference is 2 next difference between 12 minus 7 difference is 5 
and difference will be 13 minus 4 1. Next delta Q, delta Q Y, difference between these two, 2 minus 2 0 and difference between 5 minus 2, difference 3 and difference between these two, 1 minus 5 minus 4. Now delta power 4 Y, difference between these two, 3 minus 0, 3 and difference between these two, minus 4, minus 3, now reason minus 7. Next delta power 5 y, the difference between these two, minus 7 and minus 3, now result minus 10. Okay. Now, we have to find out required in formula, formula required delta, first we have to find out the y0 value. This is for x0, the corresponding y value, this is for y0 value. Okay, in boss backward interpolation, delta y, delta y required for delta y minus 1, delta y minus 1, this is for delta y minus 4, delta y minus 3, delta y minus 2 and this is for delta y minus 1, delta y minus 1. So, we can take 12. Next, delta square y minus 1 delta square y minus 1 and this is for we can start with the delta square y minus 4 y minus 3 y minus 2 and y minus 1 delta square y minus 1 so we can take 1 next delta q delta q requires y minus 2 we can Start with the delta q, y minus 4, y minus 3, y minus 2. This is for delta q, y minus 2. So, we can take minus 4. And delta power 4, y required in formula, y minus 2, y minus 2. We can start with the delta power 4, y minus 4, y minus 3. So, delta power 4, y minus 2 is not available in the table ok and delta power 5 also it requires delta power 5 y minus 3 so we can start with the delta power 5 y minus 4 and y minus 3 sorry delta power 5 y minus 3 not available in the difference table so we can use the formula up to delta power q delta power q we can use the formula and delta power 5 and delta power 4 is not available table difference that is delta y delta power 4 y minus 2 and delta power 5, y minus 3 is not available in the difference table. So we can solve the formula up to delta q. Delta q. Now to substitute this value in the formula. Now the formula for y of p equal to y0 plus p into delta y minus 1 plus p plus 1 p divided by 2 factorial delta square y minus 1 plus p plus 1 p p minus 1 divided by 3 factorial into delta q y minus 2 y minus 2 now this value substitute here and to find out x 1966 and what will be the corresponding y value. Formula y of means y of 1966 equal y0 value in the tabular column 39 plus p value minus 0.5 minus 0.5 into 
delta y minus 1 in difference table value 12 plus p value minus 0.5 plus 1. Now add these two result 0.5 0 0.5 into p value minus 0.5 divided by 2 factorial 2 into delta square y minus 1 delta square y minus 1 in difference table value 1 plus p plus 1 p value point 5 plus 1 means we can get the result point 0.5 into p value minus point 0.5 into p minus 1 p value minus 0.5 minus 1 so we can get the result minus 1.5 divided by 3 factorial means we can get the result 6 into delta q y minus 2 in difference table now the value is minus 4 minus 4 we can get the result 1966 equal 39 after that now multiply these two 0.5 into 12 we can get the result minus 6 now multiply 0.5 into minus 0.5 into 1 that result divided by 2 we can get minus 0.125 next minus 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 we can get the result minus 0.5 into minus 0.5 into minus 1.5 into minus 4 that result divided by 6 you can get minus 0.25 and add all the values 1966 1966 30 2.625 in the year of 19 in the year of 1966 serves 32.625 lakhs okay in the year of 1966 serves 32.625 lakhs this is the x value and corresponding y value 32.6225 in lakhs okay thank you